It sounds always so simple and easy, resistant varieties, but uh, you have to be sure that nature is not as stupid as we think. The fungus are getting resistant to the resistance. In this case, we have RPV12, very old uh, variety, one of the first RPV12 varieties on the market or in my vineyard. And since it is out for 20 years, there are fungi which start to get around the RPV12 uh, resistance. It also has RPV31. Again, RPV31 was uh, uh, taken over by the fungi also 20 years ago. And over the last few years, we found the RPV12 also to be not as effect effective anymore. And we have to be careful. All the modern varieties need to have RPV12 and 10. And if possible, uh, one of the three, 3132, I would rather go for 32. And RPV1 does a very nice job together with the other uh, 10 and 12. So modern varieties, I would guess four downy genes and uh, at least three oidium powdery genes in my situation. It may be different in Spain where you don't have too much problem with the downy, but much more with the powdery. In this case, you have to be careful on the, on the powdery side. But here we have to be careful that these varieties which only has RPV12 has to be sprayed four, five times already. So we need to have a new variety. So this variety, the new variant has three more genes and is much more resistant than that one. So that is going out of business pretty soon. Also it made a very nice wine and it was easy to grow. As you see, it grows upright and then it's uh, opening up and very easy to work, but not a res a resistant anymore because of the fungi finding out the resistance or getting resistant against the resistance. Very important. That is something we have to take into consideration. If you have a humid climate, be very careful with uh, downy. And if you have a, a dry, be very careful with a powdery run one. We already see run one uh, plants which show the stars of oidium on the wood. And that's the beginning of the end. You have to make a very good selection to have a very clean wood and uh, double check with other genes on run one. Run one by itself is going to be lost in a pretty short time. And that would be a shame because it's a very efficient gene if it works. So don't make it, uh, don't destroy that gene by just using it by itself. The same with RPV12, RPV10. At least combine them to be together. Much better result. The varieties which are 20 years old and have RPV10 and RPV12, they do not have that problem. So the single gene ones, RPV12 or 10, should not be sold anymore. Easy to say because uh, it takes 20 years until they get on the market. So by the time you find out that there's something wrong, they are dominant on the market. So also the market should be very quickly responding, which is paperwork, but that's something else.